where the Steve Hislop love affair with the Isle of Man TT began. In 1983, the young Scot sat here at the 11th milestone at the end of the Cronkivoli Strait, watching Norman Brown and Joey Dunlop do battle in the Senior Classic. He then decided he'd race the Manx Grand Prix a few weeks later. He ended up on the podium in the newcomers' race, having finished second, sharing the rostrum with Robert Dunlop and Ian Locker. His TT career would end with 11 victories, a total at the time only bettered by Joey Dunlop and Mike Halewood. Well, the man had extraordinary talents, and it's so nice to see here eight of his winning bikes being given a lap here at the Classic TT with some real legends on those bikes. <laughs> So, Carl, you're sat on Steve's bike. Does this bring back memories? Yeah, I can't tell you how I feel. It's, I don't know, I feel like, I always feel emotional here anyway. John, you've ridden this bike before, I think, haven't you? Yeah, we did a uh, tribute a couple of years ago, so it was really cool. It's great to, you know, get the you know, flying haggis on the helmet and uh, do Steve some justice, because, you know, on his day around here, he was unbeatable. Steve's sons, Connor and Aaron, wave the guys away, and the Norton's still sounding crisp. And Philip McCallum really looking like he's enjoying himself on the Honda. Unfortunately, the man that was in that famous race with Steve Hislop, Carl Fogarty, didn't get very far. And Stuart Easton on the lovely Boost Yamaha, never been round the course before. Steve Plater waving to the crowds. John, that sounded beautiful when it went across the line. Ah, sensational. I have to say, I was just trying to imagine what it must have been like in 92 when he did an over 122, eight or something or whatever, with that epic battle with Carl and... Uh, that was pretty special. I, I sort of, it's not like me to not have something to say, but yeah, pretty emotional really, because Stevie was a hero of mine, you know, so uh, I really, really enjoyed that. <laughs>